70 foot display. It talks to the accelerometer hardware at the, the lowest level uh, very, very quickly. And then it will send that message and transfer it over the network to, to Carson's application, uh, which will then move the interaction. Yeah, and the nice thing is all the interactions we end up using are quite gestural. So you either do the tilt movement or you use your finger on the screen to yes. kind of draw figures. Mm -hmm. So we, what we get basically, if you tilt, you get kind of an orientation vector. So it's somewhere a point on a sphere which kind of moves around rotate around the sphere and you change the camera point accordingly or the camera orientation accordingly. For shake we use the accelerometer for velocities. If you shake it really heavily you get a really long vector yeah. but then in order to create a visual representation of that all the ribbons are uh, connected via springs, so you get that shake effect actually happening. With touch we have, wherever you have your finger on the phone screen, that basically gets mapped to a point within that three-dimensional space, and all letters within a certain parameter are being displaced. very start, before Carsten even got in touch with me, I had a small application on my desktop. All it did was showed me the results from the accelerometer. First things were very, very raw uh, outlines that were specified by Carsten. I deal with lefts and rights and, and forwards and aways and just simple, simple things. And I threw together an application that, that did this. Uh, it put the text in, it gave you the interaction choices. The way we communicate from the Nokia device with our installation is based on the open standard called Open Sound Control. The whole identity software is open source. Gary's tools is based on open source. The entire Nokia MIMOS, MIMOS system is open source software. Yes. So we have like We've entire package is a, could only be done with open source tools and open standard. All the text you see on the ribbons is coming from RSS feeds, which we aggregate beforehand. So there are things coming from Twitter, Facebook, Vimeo, Flickr, mainly. And also messages people send in via using the installation, they slowly end up on those ribbons as well. So we create kind of a fractal text, we make text out of other text.